Hey guys, it's only Saturday. It's going to be really exciting because I will be giving you five tips to improving children portraits. So children portraits is my ultimate passion. That is why I started photography in the first place. Taking photographs of kids is very fun and interactive. It's very different from taking photographs of adults. So in my five years of experience, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks that I personally use on my shoots and it's gonna be really helpful for you as well. So tip number one is planning the outfit. Outfit is very, very important because when you look at a photograph, well, the first thing you look at is the subject's face. The second would be what they're wearing. Also outfit as texture and color and also story to the photograph you're trying to take. And also you can't really edit outfit in post process. So you can only do so little things about it, like you can change the color maybe and remove some stuff. But apart from that, what they're wearing will stay on the picture. So when you plan an outfit, you can have very specific colors that you want. Also, you can check in with who you're photographing, what available outfits they have. And also you can buy these things in the shop. Sometimes I would buy mine in Primark or H&M. And also you can get these things in charity shops or make it yourself really. So what I look at in outfits basically is not too bright color and not too much busy patterns and no visible letters or writing or logos. I just want it as plain as possible because the main focus of the photograph is the face and the outfit is just like an element and a texture to your photograph. If you could just put your hands in your pocket, I would say. Okay. Yeah, let, let them go. No, <laughs> let go of the leaves. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, you're doing great. That's it. <laughs> I try not to laugh. Can you put your, your right hands on your pocket, Logan? <laughs> okay. Alana, can you hold his um, right hand? Just. No, I mean, like on, on his, his arm, just hold there. Yeah, perfect. That's 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 how you do it. There we go. Tip number two is location. So basically you can take photographs in any location, but planning your location very well will impact your photo a bit differently because the location basically will add a little bit more story and what kind of photo you want to achieve. So when you are taking photographs on places that you've never been to, it is best that you go there maybe a few days before so you can scout the area. If you can do that, then be on the shoot maybe an hour early so you can look around and also you have to make sure that where you're taking photograph is safe especially if you're taking photographs of very very young children so you have to make sure that there are no stinging plants or thorns and stuff like that what is that face you're doing logan <laughs> you smile <laughs> is that a smile <laughs> there we go a bit closer can you try and hold your scarf um Alan? hold your scarf both with your hands both your hands so yeah perfect like that yeah yeah good girl okay I'll just one more <laughs> are you saying something <laughs> you're a good boy you're telling yourself that <laughs> yeah you are though you are yeah you know that that song um ring around the roses i think yeah. well you have to to hold hand and spin around yeah yeah can you do that game for me but don't spin too much you might get dizzy so just over here yeah yeah please high switch wait not yet <laughs> wait <laughs> now get dizzy real quick <laughs> Just try and spin in one spot, okay? Okay. Ready, set, go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my tip number three really depends on you. So the question is, 
is focal length important? Well, the only importance of focal length is what kind of photograph you want to achieve. So basically for my photo shoot for today, I want the best bokeh possible. So I'm using my Samyang AF 135mm f1.8 because I want the focus of my photograph to be just my subject and the background is sort of like just an element. So if you don't have a 135, you can start with a 50 millimeter. There are a lot of 50 millimeters that are cheap and available in the market. Right now, you can also use probably 35. And also what I use a lot in the past is an 85 millimeter. Tip number four is posing. So posing kids is much different than of a grown-up. With grown-up, it's easier to talk to them and sometimes they can just pose for you without you telling them. But with kids, it's different. Sometimes they don't follow what you say. So you have to be very creative in trying to post them. So basically, how do you post kids without actually trying to post them? So for example, with grown-ups, you can just say, oh, can you look at that way? But with kids, it's different. So you have to make it interesting. Like, oh, I can see some birds right up on the tree. Can you look at that way? and then they'll be interested in looking that way but you didn't really tell them to post you just said there's birds up there and they'll do that pose for you can you see some people in the playgrounds uh yeah another great tip for posing is using props so you don't really need expensive props when you're posing kids you can just use things that you find in your surroundings for example like this leaf you can ask them to hold this for you and that's kind of like posing as well you just stand here next to this so let's see you can hold some of this leaf for me this one looks nice i mean it's pretty dead but you know <laughs> it's pretty big move this camera closer <laughs> so far can you have your your body more like facing that way yeah but only your head so can we, you're doing great perfect can you give me your serious face like yes like that. Oh, I shouldn't make you laugh, right? <laughs> you just see your face, see your face. Tip number five is have fun. You're taking photographs of kids. So you have to make it as fun and interactive as much as possible because when your subjects are having fun it shows on your photos and also not only that you will enjoy yourself it will be a great experience for them as well so that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next one bye